Hey. Hello guys, so um, this is a video I tried to induce my labor by taking capture oil. Um, I've seen a lot of people say that it helped them. Um, if you guys don't know, when I went to doctor, I wasn't dilated at all. Um, so I took some, I took two tablespoons, I drank it with some orange juice. That stuff is so, 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 so nasty. Like, I swallowed it and I was like, <laughs> it's so nasty, y'all. Don't get, but, um, I took it at 8.02. I took it at 8.05. I finished, I don't know what time I took it. I wish I would have recorded me taking it, but I didn't think. But, um. I got finished at 8.05 and then I sat down for a little bit. I felt a little, little I f strong kicks, but they wasn't contractions. So it's like nine something now and I'm just waiting to see what else happened. I feel like it didn't work for me so far. So we gonna see. I guess we're gonna see later on. So if I do have contractions and go to the hospital, I'm gonna pick up the camera and I'm gonna show you guys. So. Okay, y'all, so it is almost 11 o'clock, and it's been about 8, 9, 10, 3 hours, and I can just say that the castor oil probably was a fail. Um, I did what they said to do, two tablespoons, drink it with orange juice, and I had no contractions. I didn't have diarrhea. I didn't do nothing. Only thing I felt like I was dehydrated, that's it. Um, so I can say that was, that was a fail, but I'm going to see if I have contractions while I'm sleeping because uh, I know a lot of people said they did have contractions later on in the middle of the night. So I'm going to see that, but I can really say that the cast R was a fail and I kind of figured it was a fail because I was not dilated at all. So hopefully when I go back to the doctor on Wednesday, I'm just gonna ask her, can I get induced on Saturday? The way my daughter can be here on the 28th. So, yeah, let's pray and hope that tonight I have contractions. But I feel like I'm not gonna have contractions. Just a little strong movement she's been doing. But yeah, so I'm just about to lay down and just yeah, this was a big fail. I'm really ready for my daughter to get here. Like. I'm so ready. This is her crib, guys. This is her crib. And this is her little blanket that goes on her crib. But I just put it right here. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, an uh, update about the castor oil. Um, I just went to the bathroom. Um, that's one of the symptoms. It makes you go to the bathroom a lot. Um, so, let's see if I get contractions that night. So... I went to the bathroom, so let's see if it starts my labor, so, yeah. Hi, guys. So, it is um, Saturday, and it's the next day when I had tried the castor oil. As you can tell, it did not work at all for me. Um, last night, while I was going to sleep, I had horrible back pains and contractions but my contraction wasn't strong enough for me to go to the hospital there was about i want to say 10 or 15 minutes apart but um i noticed that i do get those type of contractions when i lay down so tonight i'm gonna try to um time them and see how long were they so me and my mom can go to the hospital and guys um my stomach is steady dropping, so this is how I know like it's getting close. So my mom been wanting me to um, jump rope and all type of crazy stuff, and I'm just like, mom, I'm so tired, I have no energy right now. But hopefully when I go back to the doctor, I t um I can hopefully when I go back to see my doctor, I can tell her I know I can tell her like I want to get induced. Hope I'm gonna tell her like can I go Friday or Saturday because. I'm trying to get this baby out of me like I tried everything and it's like she doesn't want to come out and like I said if she doesn't come out if I can't do it on Friday and Saturday I'm gonna be upset because I'm gonna be here by myself but I'm gonna tell my doctor that um nobody's gonna be here with me so if I can at least try to do it within this week like a Saturday or do Saturday so the Hopefully she say yeah because I'm gonna be like 39 weeks and like 
I want to say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 39 weeks in like three days. Hopefully, I can do that. Um, so, yeah. But if not, I don't know what I'm going to do if she says no. But I figured she should say yeah because Saturday is the 28th. My due date is the August 1st. So, I don't think she will have a problem with that. But I'm just going to mention it to her. So... So hopefully she say yeah because I'm looking between Friday or Saturday. I'm gonna ask her, which I don't think um, for Wednesday. Like my due date is literally a week a, a week away. So I'm just gonna ask her like, can I do like a Friday or Saturday if that's possible? Um, I want everybody was like go ahead and get induced. So I just want to know if I can get induced either like on a Friday or a Saturday, if that's okay with you. Um, I just know those are the days that my family will be in town still and at least help me with the baby before they go out on a cruise or whatever. So just pray y'all, I pray. I really trying to get my baby out because I am tired of being pregnant. I'm so exhausted. I'm out of breath right now talking to you guys. So I'm gonna put this camera down. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. As you can see, my cast all induced label was a fail. Um, but I'm just saying, like, if you do want to try it, everybody's different. Some people do go on labor, some people don't. As you can see, I'm the one of those person who do not didn't go into labor, but I'm sure I had dilated because my stomach did drop and it's supposed to help you dilate just a little bit. So I'm sure I'm dilated now. I'm gonna continue to do everything, all these exercises I do to get dilated more so hopefully when i go back to the doctor when she check me she can be like oh you like four four or three centimeters dilated i'm like yes because she'll send me right to the hospital so thank you guys so much for tuning into this video i will see you guys in the next video